Now on the very bottom of the TV, some people call this the control panel because these are the buttons so you guys can control a lot of the stuff. It's very useful. They used to make this on the sides, but it only makes sense to make it on the bottom now. Uh, you have these inserts, you guys will notice. And that's it. There's not really that much I can show you around the TV itself, except for that. So if you were gonna set this up with a stand, so you're not gonna hang it up on your wall, this is it. All you guys have to do is just insert these. And this will tell you which one's right, and then which one's left. So it's gonna say L for the left one and right for the right one. So that's on the plastic itself. So we would just place this on the right, left, just insert it there, and then you would be done with that. It's extremely simple. So just in case, that would mean we would insert these right here. See these ends? So that's where you would insert this. You would insert one there. You take the other one and insert it all the way here. So in the corners, that's where you insert these. You do not insert them here. Okay, insert them all the way here. Anyways, the next step would be just to plug this in. So it's gonna be on the very top, on the back of your TV. You're gonna see that. You can plug it in right in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and push it all the way in. So right now this should look something like so, once you plug it in. HDMI ports, well, you can do that later. I would also like to note that you do not get any HDMI cables with your TV. All right, so this part's very custom, it does depend how you guys are doing this and uh, how high you want your TV and everything. This is just how we set it up. That just makes sense with our space. Now we could have placed these more up or down. It depends. And you would just put the screws there. You have nowhere else to put them. So it's very, very simple. And we do have a completely separate video how to show you how to mount a TV on your wall. You just have to look for the studs. That's about it, really. So it's really, really simple. That's a separate video. But right now we're just gonna set up this TV. All right, so once you have it hanged up, then and only then can you take these out. And you're gonna notice on the side, there's this. And that's, you can see it has a protector. So just take it all out. Besides that, taking that out, you will see that it's got a little bit more plastic. So just take that out too. And if you look at the bottom, there's even more plastic to take out. And that's for the corners. So once you take out all that plastic, you're gonna actually appreciate the actual finish. So right now, just plug it in and you're ready to turn on your TV for the first time. Let's turn it on, just press this and it should turn on. It should actually sync by itself and just turn on. As long as you put batteries in it, just turn on for the very first time. It's gonna take a little bit just to load in and we're gonna go on with the whole setup for your TV. So we're gonna go on and just press on hello because that's basically you're choosing your language at that point. From here, it's gonna ask you to do this in two ways. You could do it through your smartphone, which is the easiest way, or through a re remote control, step by step. What I suggest doing, smartphone-wise. By the way, smartphone also means tablet, so both ways will work just fine. So just in case, to make your selections on your TV, you can just press here or here. Just press in the corners. We're gonna choose smartphone because it's much, much easier. So we're gonna go on and choose that. We just have to go ahead and do this. So right now, here's my tablet. I'm just gonna pull up my camera. Once I do that, on my tablet itself, I'm gonna see this. And that's where this takes me to. So from there, it's gonna take you to something like this. It's okay if it tells you that it's not valid, wherever you're at, just install that app. So that's gonna take you to the app store. From the app store, smart things go on and get it so once you open up the app for the very first time you're going to see this click on allow allow again and then from here just going to next again going to next next up start sign in and then from here just create an account really quick once you went throughout the setup process which is just your email that information click on allow you're gonna see this, get started, and here we go. Just going to next, allow, and we're gonna see this. It detected the TV already. So it tells me my TV is 5175. That's my TV, not yours, guys. So make sure you pick the right one. We're gonna add this on. It's gonna tell you to know your location. Go ahead and do that. And then it's gonna connect to your TV. So it is slightly faster to do it this way just because you have to type these things up. It's easier technically than doing it with your remote control where you have to select everything with your remote control. Right now your TV should see something like so. And right here, this screen. 
So right now, it's gonna tell us our pin. So that's our pin, and we just have to put that in here. Once you put in your pin, it's just gonna connect up, and then you just have to set this up right here. So just set it up with whatever Wi-Fi you guys want. We're gonna go ahead and just check on the main one, putting the password for that, and just allow. It's gonna process. On your TV, you should see something like so, but the whole setup's taking place right here. From there, you should see something like so. You do have to press agree. So we're gonna agree to all, then press okay. It's gonna go to the next screen. So what it's doing right now, it's uh, setting up our screen. So it's being registered into our Samsung account. So even, even if you didn't have a Samsung account, right now you created one. If you had a Samsung account, then this would be a little bit faster for you. And location is fine for me. So that's my home, living room, perfect device. I can set this up as a favorite. Doesn't really matter. Right there on my TV, I'm gonna see this. And then just go into next on the bottom, go into next again. And then from here, you're gonna see done. So at this point in time, it's all set up. What we have to do in order for this to work, just press on your TV, and then you're gonna see this once it loads up. So your control. So right now you could control your TV. It just has to refresh a little bit, so just let it do its thing. But you could control your TV from your phone at this point, or just use the remote control. We're gonna go back to the remote control actually. Now if there's any problem and it's being delayed a bit too much, don't worry about it. You can set up via remote control. However, it's already set up. So just press on set up via remote. And then just go into yes. And right here, it's gonna tell you what's plugged in and what's not. So at this point in time, it's good to plug in your antenna if you have one, any HDMIs, just in case you have your Xbox, PlayStation, or an Apple TV, or anything like that, plug it in now, you can go into next. We're not gonna plug anything in at this point in time, we're just gonna skip that over, because for everybody's gonna be different. Right now it's gonna look for a Wi-Fi signal, and it will take us throughout this whole thing. However, it's already connected, as you guys can see, and we can select any other Wi-Fi networks if we wanted to. So we're just gonna want and just press the middle button, and it's just gonna go throughout. Again, the setup is pretty much done. You guys did it. The main setup was just hooking this up to your internet anyways. Um, then we got just started. So we're gonna go on and do the whole thing. So from here, you should see your name up there plus your email. You can just say, stay signed in. Now on your remote, every time we're selecting something, just press the middle. Just do a click here. And that will take you to the next page and so on. It's gonna ask you to set up a pin. So go ahead and set one up. Once you set up your pin, just press on OK. It can be as easy as you want. It can be all zeros, all ones. I would do something a little bit more difficult, but really it's really up to you. Then you're gonna see this, agree to all. Just tap down, down here below. Click on the middle to select OK. So for your remote control, these are it. So you're gonna be pressing here and here to get throughout this whole thing. And then just be pressing the middle just to select something and do that. Confirm click. So right now we're gonna do a confirm click here. We're gonna click on register and then it's gonna check for updates. This is very, very important. So we're gonna do that right now. And we're gonna download this. Right now, at this point in time, just wait for it. So right now your TV, right after the update will restart it, you might have seen a screen, some of you, others might not, it might take you straight here. But right now you can go on and use your TV. You can select any apps, Netflix or anything like that to watch and just download anything else that you're missing or might be missing as well. And you would do that exactly from the app store. So if you go here, you can select this apps and just download anything from here. So you got gaming, for example, and you got a bunch of other things down here below. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.